next I'm going to tune the belts, which they may or may not need tuning from the factory, but it's another routine maintenance thing. You have to do them every so often, and the concept here is with pretty much any 3D printer, you don't want your belts too loose, because if they are, they'll skip off the gears and you'll get layer shifts and things like that. You, you also don't want them too tight, because then you might break something or rip a belt. And with a Delta 3D printer, since you have all three towers working to move the print head in every direction, you, you want each tower to be as close to identical as possible. And part of that is try to have the same tensile force and same tension in each tower so you, you're not pushing or pulling too hard or too little in any single spot. And the easiest way to check that is with a guitar tuner, and I'm going to use a guitar tuning app, but, but an important note before doing that is you, it will not work if your belts are different, so if you replace the belt, you need to replace all of them. I, I don't even, even if it says stock parts, I, I have one printer where it prints, to, it, it, it tunes to A2 and another one tunes better to E2. So I wouldn't trust that and it, they can't be damaged. So if they're damaged, you need to go ahead and replace all three. Some people do a little trick where they move the damaged part over to the flag in the carriage, but, you know, not doing, not showing that right now because of time. But um, I do have a little tool that I use on my other one, a uh, mechanical tool for measuring tension that you can 3D print, but it's easier to use a guitar tuner if you can. And so the note you want to tune to, for a long time Dennis said A2, but I told you I have the other one E2, so what I'm basically going to do is I'm going loosen this belt up until it basically has a lot of slack to where it's not really making any audible note. And then I'm going to slowly tighten it to the first audible note on the Guitar Tuna app. And I've got my old cell phone out here because it it just does a better job picking up the note, but if, if it doesn't do a good job, I might take my headset off and plug it in here just so I can stick the microphone up to it. So, but you want to you want to pluck on this side of the belt, I assume, because you don't want to accidentally pull the belt out of the carriage flag, the carriage connector, because that's a real pain in the butt to get back in. That's definitely too low. I'm gonna. Also noticed I pushed all the carriages up to the top. It really is like tuning a guitar, isn't it? Yeah, and you want it to be in a very quiet room or it's not going to pick up and uh, it started to pick up earlier. I might might have to. Looks like yours are going to tune to A2. Too low is what the app says. I might try to get at a different angle. And Tighten it up just a tad bit more. Too high. I'm going to back off just a hair. Too low now. That was pretty close, but still too low. 
you know what, I'm going to call that close enough because it left a check mark on it for a decent amount of time. Now I'm going to uh, move the printer around. Do the next check. I'm back. One of the belts is being stubborn, so I think I'm going to have to use this tool that I printed online to tune it. So, for reference, I'm going to go to one of these belts that, I, that I've already tuned. I'm going to say this was the one giving us trouble. So, get it back on. I did not have to do this with my first monoprice mini delta 3D printer. Um, okay, so let's Actually, that's already pretty close to what it needs to be, but I'm going to... I don't know if the video... I'm not sure if the video will be able to see the tool moving, but it's definitely moving as I tension it. Yeah, okay. I've got that one at about the same tension now, so... double check this one as well just because I 